woken up sweating, screaming, crying in my sleep. Man, my mental health is not the best. I have been going to therapy. It feels like I'm skydiving when I text you. Rose petals on the floor outside your bedroom. Sunshine whenever you smile. That is just not cute. Oh well. Story of my life. What is up you guys? It's your girl Ashley. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be simple, just a little life update, what I've been doing, what I've been up to, where I've been, why I haven't been posting videos, etc. So some of you know, if you follow my Instagram or keep in touch with me at all outside of this platform, I did make a big move back in March, right around the time of COVID happening and everything, I actually made the move back to California. I did not go back home, but I went about halfway in between where I was living in Nevada and my old hometown. I'm about halfway in between both. That being said, I don't see my youngest son as often as I would like. His father has primary custody of him and uh, that's just the way it is. But with my mental health and everything else, it is what's best for the time being. I do video calls with him, keep in touch with him as much as I can, but for the most part, um, I got to see him on his birthday in August, and I haven't really seen him since, which is really hard, but I do know that it is what's best. I know that I am not at my healthiest to be the best mother and version of myself that I can be, so here I am. That being said, my oldest son is currently with my mom and other factors make that what's best for him right now as well. Like I mentioned, my mental health is not the best. I have been going to therapy um, with COVID. It is not in person, but it is over the phone, which for me honestly is kind of better because I don't have that judgment sitting in front of another person being vulnerable. For me, it's working great right now. Um, I'm in between getting switched over to another therapist, which does not make me feel very comfortable. It is not by choice. She has to take on a different assignment and I have to be handed over to someone else. So I'm feeling a little bit anxious about that considering the last six months, I've gotten to know this one person really opened up and made a lot of progress with this one person. And now I'm just going to be like transferred or handed off to somebody else. So that kind of sucks. I'm nervous. I don't know if I'm going to be able to connect with this person, this new person, like I did my current therapist. Um, so yeah, it makes me nervous, but uh, everything happens for a reason and I'm along for the ride. So optimistic a little bit about that, anxious, nervous. That's what's going on as far as my mental health. In the last month and a half, I have only woken up with night terrors um, woken up sweating, screaming, crying in my sleep one time in the past month and a half. This is going from where it was, my anxiety was keeping me up all night long to where I couldn't sleep or the reverse where I was waking up with these nightmares, these night terrors, sweating and just uncontrollably manic for lack of better words. So, uh, it's been a while since that's happened, so that's good. That's progress for me. I've worked through a lot of things. I've learned some new things about myself, patterns, behaviors, etc. Ways to use certain tools and techniques that I've discussed with my therapist and apply them to my life now and just try to do better. And that's all I'm really trying to do right now is do better. Since moving here to California, I moved from one state to another. I tried to get the pandemic unemployment assistance. It did not work. I first applied in California because that's where I'm living now. And they said, nope, you haven't worked in California in the last 12 months, go apply with Nevada. I said, okay, that makes sense. Go apply for Nevada. And they said, oh, nope, you're not a resident of Nevada anymore. We're not gonna give you benefits either. So this whole time up until this month, September, I've not been working. I've not been receiving assistance of any kind. 
besides food stamps. I am luckily able to stay with family and friends around the area. Um, so that means I'm a little unstable and bouncing back and forth between places that I'm living. Um, just is what it is right now. Nevada was not healthy for me. I mentioned that a couple videos ago. Can't get better in the same environment that made you sick. And uh, over the last six months being here, that's true. I have seen improvements with myself, um, behavioral wise, attitude wise, symptom wise, like my panic attacks and my manic episodes and the dissociation, everything just has improved. And if it hasn't improved, I'm aware of it now where I wasn't aware of it because of all of the stimulation and distractions that I had when I was in Nevada. So good news is I started a job. So I'm working in insurance again. Didn't think I would jump back into that so quickly. However, I did. I have the experience. I'm good at it. It's going to make me a good amount of money to get where I need to be so I can have me and my kids together again eventually. So um, after weighing out my options and seeing the opportunities available to me in this area, that is what I decided to do. And it's working out all right. I am liking it so far. My coworkers and my boss are great. The company is great in general. I'm feeling hopeful about it. I'm feeling positive about it. Aside from that, I am working on getting my insurance license in California so I can be able to sell insurance in both states. So I've been having to go through a lot of background checking and things like that. And my past has resurfaced. In the last video, I explained to you guys the incident that had occurred to where I now have a criminal record. And uh, among that instance, I was charged with three misdemeanors and one felony. The felony was not added on until a later date, uh, like after I was already booked in jail and everything, it was added on later. So it was amended and there's a separate case number. So it's just created a lot of confusion and issues with trying to submit documentation. Um, many of you know I have PTSD. I have been diagnosed by a licensed clinician with post-traumatic stress disorder from my past relationship and the trauma that I endured. Um, so having to do all this really brings up a lot of feelings and things that are really difficult for me. Um, I don't like being judged really in general, especially in a professional setting or in an environment, I'll say that I'm trying to do better. Um, you know, if to anyone out here on the internet, I don't care if you judge me, but if I'm actually trying at something and trying to be productive and really giving something my all and trying to do better than I've been in the past, it's really unsettling when there's other forces that don't want to see that. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that this job is doing that. My boss is awesome and understanding and so far corporate has been understanding and accepting of everything and you know, stuff happens, but it's still not a good feeling for me because I allowed that situation to happen. I made those decisions and it doesn't make me feel good about myself as a person, as a mom, as an employee, as a member of society in general. Um, so that's been difficult and something that I've been processing over the last couple weeks with uh, this new job. So that's been hard. It's been a little bit of a setback for me, but in the end, it's only made me push harder and tell myself, you know, if this ends up working out, this is where I'm meant to be. This is what's supposed to happen. 
there's a reason I moved out to Nevada. There's a reason that I found that internship through insurance and got my license while I was with my ex. And there's a reason that I was forced to move back to California. I have both of my boys in two different states and I'm right in between both of them. And it's the best thing for me right now, for my boys right now, for my life right now. I'm just trying to pick up the pieces and figure myself out and do the best that I can and still be there for my kids. And uh, making mistakes and learning along the way. So that's pretty much it. That is my life update as of now. I don't know about anyone else, but just in general, I feel like this whole year has kind of been on pause. Um, I'm just reflecting. We had the first day of fall yesterday and it literally feels like it was just Christmas. It was just the beginning of the year and here we are almost at the end of it. Like, it's just weird. Um, but then again, from March to now, I've noticed a lot of change and progression within myself and I'm finally getting things taken care of that I wouldn't have done in Nevada. I wouldn't have been able to do over the last couple of years. And uh, I'm just really grateful and thankful for where I'm at right now. Another, another quick little thing I recently went back to the dentist. I have uh, discovered that I have an issue with my jaw. It is out of place. I'm gonna be going to a chiropractor to see about uh, getting it realigned or potentially going to see a specialist. And uh, yeah, so that's something that's nerve wracking. It's not a comfortable thing I like to talk about. Um, it was discovered when I went to the dentist recently just for x-rays and a cleaning and they noticed that and they were asking me questions about the injury and when it happened and if I remembered what happened and I do it was an argument I remember exactly how it happened I remember exactly where he hit me how hard I remember telling him I thought I needed to go get it looked at because it just was not right. And uh, I wasn't able to do that back then. So I was able to go and tell them generally what happened. I just said I got into a fight and I don't really remember when, I don't really remember how, but uh, I know it's not right. And the dentist actually said, yeah, something's really not right there. I would really like you to go see a specialist if you could afford it. I cannot afford it. So that was pretty uncomfortable. Again, it is something that I am taking care of now that I would not have taken care of if I was still in Nevada. Um, I would have just avoided it probably until I started getting really, really bad pains as it progressed. So that's good news. My mental health is doing better. My physical health is improving, and overall, I'm just trying to enjoy each day and not look too far in the future, and I'm just living, man. So, that is my life update. That is it. I don't think anything else is going to pop into my head while I'm sitting here for a minute. Pretty sure that's it. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this update on my life. If you did, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you are not already. Follow my socials if you want to. If you don't, that's fine too. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope you are having a great day, night, evening, afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you are, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.